Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to dockerize the Spring Boot application with the MySQL database. In the previous video, we discussed about dockerizing the Spring Boot application with the in-memory database. In case if you missed that video, the link will be given in the description section of this video. Go ahead and watch that video. There are two different ways to dockerize the Spring Boot application with MySQL database. The first approach is by creating a Docker network and the second approach is by using the Docker Compose. In this video, we will discuss about using the Docker network. Let's begin. I have created a text file and I have written a series of steps that how we can dockerize this Spring Boot application with MySQL database and we are going to follow these steps one by one. We are going to dockerize one of the REST API which is Expense Tracker API. This is a production ready REST API. In case if you don't know how to create a production ready REST API with Spring Boot, JPA and Hibernate, I highly recommend you to check out my Udemy course where I will teach you everything you need to know about Spring Boot, JPA, Hibernate and deploy the application to the AWS and Heroku. Go ahead and check that course. The link will be given in the description section of this video. So the first step is to, we need to pull the MySQL image from the Docker Hub. Let's open the command prompt or open the terminal in case if you are on Win, in case if you are on Mac, we're going to use docker pull command, docker pull image name, MySQL colon, the version 5.7. Hit enter. This is going to pull the MySQL image from the Docker Hub depending upon the internet speed. Uh, for some reason we are getting this exception in case if you are if you are also facing this exception which is no matching manifest for linux slash arm 64 slash v8 then you need to append the platform option let's use the other option other command which is docker pull minus minus platform linux slash x86 underscore 64 let's use this we just need to add the platform option and hit enter this is going to pull the image from the docker hub this will take a couple of minutes depending upon your internet speed as you can see it starts pulling the image we have pulled the image from the docker hub we can verify that docker images you can see we have this mysql image with the tag 5.7 let me clear this the second step is to we need to create a docker network to communicate the spring boot application and the mysql database basically we are going to create a network to communicate the spring boot application and the mysql together it is a bridge between the two services we're going to use docker network docker network create we're going to use the create option and we will provide the name we are going to use the network which is spring boot minus mysql minus net you can give any name you want hit enter this is going to create a network we can verify that docker network ls and you can see the network which is spring boot minus mysql minus net and you can see the driver which is a bridge like i said it is a bridge between the mysql database as well as the spring boot application and the third step is to we need to run the mysql container inside the network we are going to use docker run command and we are going to provide a name to the container using the minus minus name option we are going to call this mysql db and we are going to run it on the network which we have created using the minus minus network option and we will provide the network name which is spring boot minus mysql minus net and we are going to use the environment variables we have a couple of environment variables mysql minus underscore root underscore password we're going to set the root password which is one two three four you can give any password you want and we're going to use uh, one more environment variable mysql underscore database 
we're going to provide the database name expense tracker and we're going to use the another environment variable which is user and i'm going to set this to sa and password the user password i'm going to set this to 1234 basically just to keep it consistency we're going to use the same password with the root password as well as the user password and we're going to run it in the detach mode and we will provide the image name which is mysql colon 5 5.7 so let's copy this and paste it and hit enter and we will get this warning you can just ignore this but you can see the container id the container is started we can verify that docker ps hit enter you can see the mysql is started on the container now we can see whether the database is created or not let's uh, run this container in an interactive mode we will use docker access and minus it which is interactive mode and we will need to provide the container id 454 454 and we're going to use the bash command now we are inside the container and we will use mysql minus u which is the username we set this to sa and minus p we set this to one two three four hit enter now we are inside this mysql uh, database we can check the databases databases you can see we have the expense tracker database let's see select the database expense expense tracker and now we are inside the expense tracker database but there are no tables inside this database because we haven't start our spring boot application inside the container let's do that that is what the next step is the fourth step is to okay the fifth step is to update the application dot properties file we need to add these properties basically we are going to change the url instead of the local host we are going to use the container name if you remember we have given the container name for running this database mysql database and we need to use this container name instead of the local host and we need to provide the username and the password so let's copy this and inside the IntelliJ idea, let's open the application.properties file. Let me change, copy all, let's leave, replace all of this with the one which we have copied. Basically, we are just changing instead of localhost, we are providing the container name and also we are changing the username and the password. That's it. Let's save this. And the next step is to, we need to build the Spring Boot Docker image. Before that, we need to build this expense tracker API. We need to build the jar. So let's go to Maven and choose install and click on this Maven build. This will take a few minutes to build the jar file. You can see build success inside the target folder. We have the expense tracker API dot jar file. Next, we need to create a Docker file. So inside the root of the project, we are going to create a new file, Docker file. Let me minimize all of this and let's start with from instruction from open JDK colon. We're going to use JDK 8. Next we are going to use the copy instruction copy we're going to copy the jar file which is present inside the target folder expense tracker api.jar and we're going to copy it to the image which is having the same jar file name which is expense tracker api.jar and we will use the entry point instruction and we will provide the java command which is java minus jar minus jar and we will provide the image name which is expense tracker api dot char let's save this so now we have the docker file all we need to do is we need to build this image let's open the terminal and we are going to use docker build command docker build and we need to provide the repository name we are going to call this let me see what 
I can return in the instructions in the steps Spring Boot MySQL. Spring Boot MySQL. You can give any name you want, but I have just already done the document. I'm following that. And we need to build it inside the current directory. So let's put a dot and hit enter. This is going to build the Docker image. This will take a couple of minutes. Once the Docker image is built, we can verify that Docker images. And you can see we have the image Spring Boot MySQL. The tag is latest and the size is 564 MB. Next, the last step is to we need to start the Spring Boot container on the same network. So we're going to use the Docker run command and we will use the minus minus network to run it on the network, which we have created earlier Spring Boot minus MySQL minus net and we will provide the name to the container using the minus minus name option. We're going to call this Spring Boot minus container and we're going to provide the port using the port option minus P option, the host port and the container port and we're going to run it in the detach mode and we are going to provide the container name which is Spring Boot MySQL. Not the container name, this is the repository name. Let's do this docker run we're going to use the run command and we are going to use a network we need to run it in the same network spring boot mysql minus net and we need to use the minus minus name option to provide the container name let's call this spring boot container spring boot container and we're going to use the port minus p option we will provide the the host port basically i'm going to map the same port 8080 which is the host port and the container port which is 8080 and we're going to run it in the detach mode and we need to provide the repository name which is spring boot mysql and hit enter this will start the container. We can verify that docker ps. You can see it is started and this will take a couple of uh, seconds to run. We can check the logs, docker logs, the container ID, which is CCA, hit enter. You can see it is started on the port 8080. We can check inside the database whether the tables are created or not. Let's open the command prompt or the terminal and inside this, let's use show tables. Hit enter, you can see we have the two tables has been created, tbl underscore expenses, tbl underscore users. Right now there are no records inside this, we can verify that. Select star from tbl underscore users. Hit enter, see we, do, we have an empty set. Let's go to the postman let's fire a new request this is a post request localhost colon 8080 slash api slash v1 slash register first we need to register choose body select draw and choose json let's provide the name which is bushan email bushan at example.com example.com we need to provide the password one two three four five six and click on the send we do get the response back and let's change this to let's change this to login we don't need this name click send we should get the jw tweet token back our application is working as expected let's verify it in the database hit enter we do get a user which we have created just now potion and if you want to exit from this mysql interactive mode you can click on you can write exit you will come out of the mysql if you come out of this container as well you just need to again use exit you will come out of the container and still our 
containers will be running you can see there are two containers are running if you want to stop the containers you can use docker stop you need to provide the container id cca and also 457 457 hit enter both have been stopped okay this is 454 454 454 hit enter you can see the service is stopped the container is stopped we can verify it exited 18 seconds ago exited four seconds ago all right this is all about dockerizing the spring boot application with the mysql database we have used one of the approach by creating the docker network there is also one more way we can use the docker compose that we will see in the next video Thank you so much for watching in case if you are enjoying this docker series go ahead and share this playlist with your friends and also in case if you like the video go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video